a devastating power puncher has taken the boxing world by storm. Artur Beterbiev, a Russian wrecking ball with skills, toughness, and most importantly, lights out finishing instincts. Artur Beterbiev! He's a demolition specialist who has never had to listen to the judges' scores being read out. All 17 fighters placed in the path of this unified light heavyweight champion have been brutally moved out of the way. He's in trouble right here. He He's in trouble. big trouble. And he got him on the That's chin, it. and down he goes. With exceptional stamina and almost inhuman power, some observers are quick to write off the top-ranked titleist as a one-dimensional banger. But nothing could be further from the truth. out of there. And Johnson oh, now takes a right and is up against the ropes. Two knockdowns here in round number five. Trained by expert coach Mark Ramsey, the Chechen boxer models his style on that of his boxing hero, Mike Tyson. From the fables of the gym where better BF's handlers toiled to get sparring partners willing to sample the ferocious power, to the heat of the ring where champions and challengers have crumbled, fighting this WBC and IBF 175-pound king remains a fearsome proposition. Who do you want to fight next? Doesn't matter. Anyone. Anyone. I'm focused for title, not for name, you know. Just months after making his professional debut, Artur Beterbiev capped off 2013 with a one-round blast-out of Billy Bailey. Oh, you were at the bell. Touch gloves. Taking the center ring, Beterbiev set about his veteran foe with shots to head and body. Bailey swung back bravely, but a sharp right hand left him crumpled near the ropes and out in the first. Arriving in Montreal with back-to-back -back losses at the fists of Bernard Hopkins and Adonis Stevenson, respectively, former IBF world champion Tavoris Cloud needed a big performance. You touch gloves now, man. You're boxing the bell. God bless you both. Touch gloves. Even though Thunder could clearly punch, his 5-0 adversary was very much on an upward trajectory. Cloud's fast hands kept the physical threat at bay for most of the opener. But once better be have warmed up, the Floridian was dropped three times. Good right hand over the top there from Vitoviev. And just letting that left hand go, and then a right as well, and he's got Cloud trapped here, and Cloud is down onto a knee. 40 seconds left in the first round, but Turbiev ushered into a neutral corner. Good variety, good combination of punches, was wailing away with the left and then just snuck the right hand inside. Somehow making it out of the round, it was all over in the second session when a left hook on the back of a swarming flurry finished off Cloud. And how has Cloud managed to recover? And that is an absolutely jolting left hand from Turbiev. You can see the head snap back and he starts to unload again here. And surely Cloud cannot last too much longer. He's trapped in the corner, taking punches. He's trying to throw back, but to no avail. And he goes down again, this time flat on his stomach. And really, does he want to take any more of this? I think he's going to sit this one out. And Tavoris Cloud is down and out. Artur Baturbiev has got his sixth professional win. Eager to take advantage of a premier slot on USA Network Showtime, unbeaten Jeff Page Jr. may have regretted that decision after less than two rounds with Artur Baturbiev. Okay, touch love, good luck. The sprightly Kansas mover tried to use every inch of the ring to evade the big shots, and even landed a cuffing right hand of his own to floor the fight favorite at the close of the first round. Down goes Better Down. Biev on a right hand. What a shocking start. That woke up Better Biev, who shrugged it off and proceeded to inflict pain on Page in round two. That's something you want to do against Better Biev, be pulling back with your hands down. And down goes Page once again. A hard shot from Better Biev. Not many punches landed perfectly clean, but three knockdowns ended Page's evening and sent him back into obscurity. Troy, Page just does not look stable in there right now. Down he goes again, and that will be it. Page's defense, he needed to keep his hands up a lot more. But from the first time he got hit, he did not know exactly where he was. 
With his career traveling on a fast track to world-level opportunities, Better BF stepped into a title eliminator against tall southpaw Gabriel Campillo. Seeking to emulate the fortunes of his compatriot, Sergei Kovalev, who had previously removed the Spaniard in three rounds, Better BF wobbled and floored the veteran in round one. Better BF there on the left. Oh, and he got Better it. Better BF lands a big right hand. Campillo's hurt already. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. He Has needs him against the ropes, and down he goes. Static Campillo covered up and tried to ride out the storm. It was a thankless task, and Better BF sent his skull rocking with a right hand of the fourth. But he's standing straight up, and he's, he's in trouble right here. He is. He's in big trouble. And he got him on the That's chin, it. and down he goes. Campillo has hit the canvas. Hey, this guy's strong, Better BF. I mean, Campillo was literally just trying to survive and, and go some rounds before starting his game plan, and he couldn't even do that. This guy hit so hard. Making the third defense of his NABA 175-pound strap, Arthur Betterbiev was determined to dish out some punishment on Argentinian opponent Ezequiel Moderna. Olimpico Materna. Struggling to make the weight, Moderna's misery was compounded in round three when he hit the deck twice and was docked a point for spitting out his gum sheet. Exactly what happened? There's another right hand that comes in as he chases him down here at the end of the third round. Pounding Moderna with repeated power shots, the visitor signaled to his corner that he had suffered enough. They find tremendous ways to overcome, and sometimes they give in. It's just too much for them to overcome. Moderna gave in. As advertised, is Archer better be have now 10-0 with 10 knockouts to start his career. A hard-punching Paraguayan who had previously gone the 12 with a later Alvarez Isidro Prieto had the potential to last some minutes. Touch yourselves at all times. God bless you both. Touch gloves now. You're boxing at the bell, man. Touch gloves. Slightly taller than better BF, Prieto surrendered any size advantages with a crouch style. It wasn't enough to avoid a thumping right hand early in the opening round that sent the away man stumbling. Better Biev waited patiently for an opening, and a cavalcade of blows swiftly put Prieto away. Eleven knockouts in eleven contests. The better be of freight train was reaching full speed. Battling against inactivity in a bid to finally realize his full potential, unbeaten Brit Callum Johnson had the power and poise to potentially trouble better be of. I gave you guys your instruction in the just room. I expect a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Touch up. Good luck to both of you guys. Fresh from a quick fire stoppage of domestic rival Frank Bullione. Confident Callum bounced back from a first round fall to stun Better Biev with a left hook knockdown of his own in the second stanza. Oh, the short oh, oh, goes down. Oh, stuttering. And he's wobbled. Unperturbed, the Russian regrouped and assumed his beating of the challenger. The pair swung for the trenches, but Bloody Johnson was finished off by a slicing temple shot in the fourth. Oh, did he go? This is a grazing right hand. Three. And Johnson Four. melts in front of him. Five. Six. He does not look Seven. good. Eight. Nine. Ten. It's over. Johnson is protesting, but he barely beat that count. And Bitterbiev knew he was getting a test.